Hi guys, Jay here. Thank you so much for 600 subscribers. I didn't really Feel think we practice we'd... as long as you like. Thank you, coach. I didn't think that we'd reach this 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 number. Like uh, first one here. Coach. Click the people tab on your watch to invite your friends to join you. I'm trying to make a video, coach. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, um, so recently with the new update that came out to Rec Room, the gifting edition, we've had a new custom room called Capture Point, which was released and created by the AG devs to show us what we can do with all these creation tools and well i've played it i've enjoyed it and i'm here to share with you guys some tips and tricks whether that's weapons flank routes how to not die or things like this so i will guide you through this video hope you enjoy For weapons, we're going to start off with a long range or mid range weapon, which is the paintball sniper. The paintball sniper is the best if you're on blue team or red team because you can find one instantly out of your spawn. On red team, just turn to the left and you'll find a sniper rifle laying down and on blue team, go to the right and go up the sniper uh, spot as I usually call it. It's basically where you spawn in the map and where the scoreboard is. When you pick up a sniper, just make sure you're accurate. If you hit headshots, it is a one shot in the head. You'll instantly kill someone with it. If it's in the body, it is two shots. You can also pull off some nice and neat combos by using a sniper and someone uh, something else in your offhand to go ahead and get some body shots with the sniper and then finish them off with a different weapon. For the next weapon, it is a short ranged weapon, I'd say, and this is gonna be the bow and arrow. Well, yeah, of course you can use that long range if you're accurate enough, but the bow and arrow can be very useful from short range as, you know, if you get on point and there's enemies, you can just rain them with arrows, sometimes in the head, or, you know, it has a faster fire rate for a close range. Another new weapon to use, especially if there are people on the point and you get the grenade launcher, it is a huge advantage to have it if you don't have the point, as some people might be staying on the point, and even though you capture the point, you don't have to stand on it, but some people still like to do that. So what you could do is pick up the grenade launcher, go right under the point, and just blast them away. This should scare them away of the point, either that, while your teammate take care of them, or if they're low enough, it might finish them off, or if they just don't know where it's coming from, you might just be able to do the job with two shots. Now let's talk about the fastest spots to reach the point on each separate teams. I'm not really going to talk a lot during this, I'm just going to show you footage of what these uh, these routes are with the name of the team at the top of the screen so you know if you're on which team where to go to reach the point in the fastest way. I've calculated a bunch of different ways and these are the fastest as I figured out. Here you go guys. Flank routes can help you win a team fight or just capture the objective in capture point. So this is what I'm going to be showing you guys. Here are the best flanking routes for all the three teams that you can find in capture point. Here you go.
And so that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoy and hope you guys find found this little tips and trick video helpful. And hope you guys are also going to put it to good use in Capture Point. So have yourself a great day and see you on the next one.